it's me Kayla and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Christmas room tour because I do one of these videos every single year and I am so obsessed with my bedroom right now. Like girl, I cannot wait to show you all of the details. I really went all out this year and I just, hi Lucky. Sorry guys, that's my, that's my little child over there. Her name is Lucky. Yes, Lucky. We'll show them your room too. Don't worry. I think Lucky was trying to say that she wants me to show you guys her bedroom too. So we'll do that. See, now she's satisfied. Anyways, you guys, we are just going to get straight into the room tour and I hope that you'll enjoy watching. So let the magic begin. So this is a little overview of my bedroom all decked out for Christmas. This is what it looks like right when you walk in, okay? So we are going to start off with this side of my bedroom first, and then we're just going to make our way around town already. So first we have my bed, but if you go down a little bit, we have tons of fan mail from you guys, literally. It's so insane. We've got this tub over here. And um, yeah, I need to do more fan mail unboxings for sure because you guys are so generous and you're always sending me super cool stuff. So we have one bin and then we have another bin. And this bin is full of mostly letters. Um, also look how cool this is. Somebody sent me this package and it literally looks like one of my lip cessed lip balms. And then we have a third bin right here. And this is full of, it's a little bit of everything actually. It's like bubble mailers and envelopes and all kinds of stuff. So we have lots of fan mail right here at the foot of my bed. And then we have my bed. And for Christmas, I decided to put this really, really pretty garland up. I actually got it from the dollar store though. So um, that's a steal because I think it looks so neat. And then we have this little Christmas pattern blanket, which I adore. I got this from Burlington last year for like under $20 and I'm obsessed with it. Then we have this little Build-A-Bear that I made with my IBF and it's so cute. It has little Christmas antlers and actually Callie got the antlers for me from Five Below. So they don't actually come with the bear. I just kind of put them on for a little extra special Christmas touch. And behind the bear, we have this pillow that says Mary. And to be honest, I'm not sure where I got this. I think I got it from Marshall's, but um, it's been a few years, so I don't remember too well. Um, but then I also have two little Santa Claus hats. And then we have my favorite picture of all. It says she designed a life she loved. And actually I did have some Christmas garland hanging up there. Um, but it kept falling and I meant to hang it up, but uh, yeah, it's not there. Let's just pretend that there is golden garland hung up there, okay? Let's just use our imagination. Now I'm gonna show you guys Lucky's house, all right? Hey, Lucky. Lucky's actually over here. What are you doing? Are you flexing? What you doing? <laughs> Come here, you wanna show them your house? Let's show them Lucky's house. Okay, so you wanna hang out up here? What are you doing? Oh my gosh, wait. Do you guys see the drawing of Lucky right behind her? Ah, I love our fan art. But okay, I don't, I don't know what she's doing right now. Um, fine, Lucky, I will show them myself. So Lucky's cage is pretty awesome. Up here, she can climb. And then there's two water bowls up there. Um, usually I have snacks in this one and then that one is just full of water. Um, Please ignore the bird poop, that just kind of happens. Um, but you guys are always sending me these little like jelly hair ties. I'm not really sure what they're called, but Lucky loves to play with them. So I always keep some up there for her. And then this is the inside of her cage. Let's just pretend we're Lucky for a second. You have to be the narrator. You need to tell them how much you love your cage. And now she's like not even coming off my finger. We have this little wooden ladder and then we have this little coconut. Look how cool it is. I mean, if I were a bird, I think I would spend most of my time inside of this little coconut eating my treats. Like I would make a little pile of all my treats and then just eat them. Then we have this little toy up here. And um, actually this was sent to me in fan mail. It's a little star keychain, but I put it in Lucky's cage because Lucky's full name is Lucky Stars. And um, 
so I thought that was very fitting. We have some little gadgets and gizmos in the back. Lucky loves bells, so I like to have lots of toys with bells on them. This is probably Lucky's favorite thing ever. It is a little sunflower mirror. She loves to admire herself all day long. Yeah, so that is a little tour of Miss Lucky's cage, huh? What are you doing? Then we have my favorite part of my bedroom, Ever. This is my fan mail wall and basically this is all of the artwork that you guys send to my P.O. box. I absolutely love this part of my bedroom because it makes me think of you guys and this whole entire wall just screams creativity and I love how every drawing is so unique. Everyone has a different style and I just think that's so cool. Like up here we have one with me in a tiara. We have me in black and white. We have me winking with a scrunchie in my hair. Um, I love this one so much. There's so much detail. Like, it's just the coolest thing. And then my shirt says lip sess. We have a whole bunch of Lucky. There's one of Lucky right there. Um, here's, oh look, here's Christmas Lucky. And I also have some pictures of you guys. There's a star fan member. There's a star fan member. There's a star fan member. There's another star fan member up there. That's Addison. Yeah, I could do an entire video just on my fan mail wall because I am just so in love with it and that would not be possible without you guys. So anyway, we're going to move on now and um, this is my favorite corner of my bedroom. Like, just take a look at this. So this is my Christmas tree and I'm contemplating on keeping it up all year round. Like, I'm totally serious. Like, during Easter, I can make a little Easter egg tree. I'm in love with my Christmas tree. So I have these little pink sparkly ornaments and I also put these little gummy bear lip smackers on here because I just think that it makes the tree more personal to me and um, I love lip balm, so I think it's perfect. I believe there's five gummy bears on the tree. Let's try to find them. Okay, we have one blue one, one pink one, one green one. We have an orange and I think there's a red. Oh, here's the red one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all of them. And then look how cute this is. So actually one of you guys sent this to me. It is an ice cream cone ornament that I'm going to cherish forever. This is a homemade ornament that I did with Callie. That is a view of my Christmas tree. And then underneath my Christmas tree, let's address the elephant in the room. We've got tons of fan mail from you guys. I mean, we literally have boxes and boxes and boxes and it's so incredibly exciting. Like, look at this. Oh my goodness. And this right here just looks like the perfect Christmas present. Like they wrapped it so nice and neatly. Oh, and then we have my two little elf friends. This is Ed and this is Fred, okay? I actually just made up their names just now. Um, they're kind of basic. So if you guys have any better name suggestions for our elves, let me know. So basically we got just fan mail, fan mail, fan mail everywhere. And I cannot even express my appreciation for you guys. Also, we have this little stocking full of envelopes that I plan to open in my next fan mail unboxing. So we've got that right there. And then I'll just show you guys. Um, outside of my bedroom window, it is so neat because we have a pond right there and you could go ice skating on it. We have this little K decoration right here and sorry, it's kind of dark, you can't see it that well. We have a little girl boss sign and a nifty nutcracker. And then we've got my studio light for filming and hey, what's it doing? And then we have a Lucky. We have a little Lucky star who pooped. Thanks Lucky, thanks a lot. So now we are getting into my vanity area. Lucky's just gonna say her name a hundred times because she loves attention, but I am obsessed with my vanity right now and I'll show you why. Well, first of all, we have these little twinkle lights coming down. This says Glamour Girl. And then we have this little tiara that I got in Epcot Park. This golden garland, which is so pretty. I love it. This little makeup organizer right here. And it's kind of a hot mess express at the moment, but we have this nice list lip zest and the flavor angel food cake. And these are jumbos, by the way. 
And then we have a naughty list one in devil's suit cape. If you like this video, you're on the nice list. If you dislike this video, you're on the naughty list. <laughs> All right, anyway, then these are actually my newest release from my brand Lip Zest. These are inspired by the zodiac signs and I did every single sign in rainbow order. I'm going to go through and tell you guys the names of each zodiac and the flavor. And if you know your zodiac sign, I want you to comment below which zodiac you are or which flavor you are, I should say. So first we have Capricorn Solar Strawberry, Aquarius Orange Orbit, that's my sign. We've got Pisces in Candy Constellation, Aries in Sunny Lemonade, Taurus Satellite Sorbet, Gemini Gumball Galaxy. And I, I just love that one so much. I love the name Gumball Galaxy. All right, then we have Cancer Blue Moon Ice Cream, Leo Blackberry Sky, Libra Cosmic Brownie, Virgo Grape Soda Stars, Scorpio Sweet Stardust, and then Sagittarius Astronaut Ice Cream. All right, so again, let me know what sign you are and what flavor you are and what color because we got all the colors of the rainbow. Right back here, we have all of my go-to perfume scents. So if you ever wonder, what I smell like, it's usually one of these five things. And actually, usually I combine some scents. So let me move this chair out and go through them. All right, so first we have Fresh and Clean. And I usually wear this one if I'm just running errands. Um, it's actually just a body mist from Pink. So it's not like an actual perfume. But uh, yeah, this is when I'm just like gonna go to the gym or go to the grocery store, Target, you know, casual things like that. Then we have Warm and Cozy. And usually I will use this in combination with one of my favorite Bath & Body Works scents of all time. This is Lovely Dreamer. And when I wear this, it just makes me feel like I can do anything. So I usually combine those two. Then we have Juliet Has a Gun. And this is my go-to perfume for winter. It is very strong in a good way. And it just makes you feel like, mm, like powerful and I love it. All right, then we have my favorite perfume ever. This is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, and this is the Ultra Intense. And sometimes I forget it's the Ultra Intense version and I can smell myself. Okay, so then we have this little notebook right here that my best friend got me for my birthday last year. And it says, don't quit your daydream, video ideas. And I literally do use this notebook for video ideas and obsessed ideas. I just think it's really interesting. Um, and also look at the back guys, it's so neat, it says, Purple Stars 2 and there's my little YouTube profile picture. So shout out to my BFF Jamie for getting me that. And then we have this little LED light box and these things are so cool. So I never have mine plugged in and I'll tell you why. This is gonna sound really silly, but whenever it's glowing with different colors, it just doesn't match the theme of my room. So I prefer for it to just stay unplugged. But with these, uh, pretty much the board lights up if you're normal and you know, wanna experience that, then you plug it in and you can make it say anything you want on the board because it comes with tons of letters and numbers and little symbols, like there's a little kiss symbol. So this just says, stay fabulous. On top, we have some holiday EOS and we have this little decoration that says joy. We have this giant MAC lipstick and you can actually put things inside. Like how cool is that? And then you guys, oh my gosh, I am so obsessed with my Island of Misfit toy little figurines. My favorite Christmas movie of all times is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer because it makes me feel nostalgic. The intro could make me cry because it just sounds like Christmas and gives me all the good vibes. And anyway, so I actually ordered these off of eBay like two weeks ago. I'm not even gonna tell you how much I paid for them because these literally are vintage. They came out in the year like 2000, I believe, but we have the cowboy that rides the ostrich. We have the polka dot elephants, the train with square wheels, Mrs. Claus and Santa Claus, the little snowman narrator, the dolly for Sue. I don't really know what her name is. We got the cranky elf guy who yells at Hermie. Oh, too bad we don't have Hermie. Charlie in the box, and then whatever his name is. He's probably my least favorite, I don't know why. So that's my little Rudolph slash Island of Misfit toys figurine setup, and I am absolutely obsessed. And they look like they came right out of the movie. Like, that's why I love them so, so, so much. Then we have my long mirror right here so that I can, uh, check out my outfit and make sure it's on fleek. I don't even know what I'm wearing today. This is just like so casual. I'm not going anywhere. So if I weren't filming, I'd actually not be wearing a skirt. I'd be wearing sweatpants. But we have some really pretty garland. Lucky stars. What's with all the hullabaloo? 
All right, anyway. Hi, Lucky. So we have some really pretty garland right here. This little halo. And this was from my Halloween costume that I wore this year, but I thought it looked cute for Christmas time too. So then we have this little arrangement of Christmas flowers. And I actually got all of this stuff at the Dollar Tree. For this window, we have two little candy canes that again, I got from the dollar store. Pretty much all of my decor is from the dollar store, but look how pretty these snow globes are. <gasps> I just love them. I got these from the dollar store last year. So we have a Santa Claus and it says hope. We have a little elf. I just have to shake them up. We have a little elf that says joy. And then we have a snowman that says peace. So guys, comment below, which one is your favorite? Are you team hope? team joy or team peace. I have to say my favorite is probably the snowman that says peace. That's all for that window. We got the first half of my room done. Now we're gonna do this side. Now, I need to tell you guys a tragic story. The reason there is a very ugly rip in my wall is because I used to have a nail polish rack right here and it was my favorite part of my room ever, besides my fan corner, of course. And one day around 1 a.m., it just fell. The whole nail polish rack fell. All the nail polish is broke. It spilled all over my carpet and um, it was a hot mess express to say the least. So I need to buy a new one because my old one is broken. But yeah, so let's pretend that my uh, nail polish rack is up there. All right, it's there in spirit. Then we have my little pink bench right here. We have my MacBook Pro and then we have this little snowflake pillow, but I almost forgot. This is the door to my bathroom. Hello! There's really nothing too exciting in here, but this is my shower curtain. And then um, behind this little white curtain, we have this little picture frame that says, love you to the moon and back. And Miss Callie got that for me and it's just so sweet and I love it. We have a candle right here. It's a Christmas candle and it is in the scent. And we have some little motivational signs up here. We have some false lashes up there just for a little extra spunk and pizzazz. This little sign that says, hey girl, hey. And then a little vial of pink magic dust. All right, it's it's magical, I promise. Woo, we're all caught up in the curtain. All righty. So that's about all for my bathroom. It's not really that exciting. Then if we keep going over here, we have the door to my closet and we are not gonna go in there because it is like dangerous in there. And now guys, we are going to be moving on to the very last section of my bedroom that I wanna share with you today. And that is my lip balm collection corner. So first I wanna show you all of the decorations that I have up, but also hiding behind the decorations. I wanted to show you that I have my little 100,000 subscriber play button hung up. I got this from YouTube for reaching 100,000 subscribers and I'm currently working towards getting the golden play button and that's at a million subscribers. I know we can do it. But anyway, all right, so over here on top of this white drawer organizer, I have this pink sparkly reindeer I got from Target and then underneath the reindeer, I have all of these Hershey Kiss lip balms. And I just think they look really, really cute up there. Next to that, we have a pink Christmas tree coming out of a present box. And I actually decided to hang some unopened lip balms on the tree. So this is literally a lip balm tree. So we have this little Snoopy one, an Elf on the Shelf lip balm. And then of course we have Frosty the Snowman in the flavor, Frosted Berry, very appropriate. Two Lip Smacker Snow Globes. This one has flavors that are inspired by New York City. And then this one is inspired by Los Angeles. And actually a subscriber sent me both of these and I opened the box on Christmas day last year and I was literally so excited. So I'm never opening these ever because if I do that, then they'll literally lose their magic. Now that you guys have seen an overview, I am going to briefly go through all of the drawers. So the first drawer we have here is full of Revo lip balms. And Revos, um, for the most part, have spherical packaging. Um, let me show you an example. So yeah, this one kind of looks like an EOS, but then throughout time, they started to give them some ridges. These are really fun. Anyway, then in the second drawer, we have my EOS collection. Then this is probably one of my favorite drawers ever. We have all of my vintage lip balms in here. Okay, so when I say vintage, I mean these are at least 
10 to 20 years old, which is insane. So um, all of these are in their original packaging for the most part. This is the most vintage item I have. It's a Bugs Bunny lip balm from 1996. So then in the fourth drawer down, we have some Lip Smacker products. So this is just a mix of all kinds of random stuff. Um, basically everything in here is not one of their classic Lip Smacker lip balms that kind of look like this guy. That's a rare one, but you know what I'm saying. All right, so we have some Lip Smacker tins. We have some of their lip glosses this one's in the flavor birthday cake and i'm obsessed we have quite a few lippy pals we got a bunny then in the fifth drawer down we have lip smacker zoom zooms and also we have some of these guys right here by lip smacker uh basically they look like different drinks so we have a watermelon lemonade we have coca-cola unicorn frappe and then like i said we have the lip smacker uh disney zoom zooms so this is eeyore cheer up buttercup in the bottom drawer here we have lidlicious lip glosses sold exclusively at bath and body works i don't think that bath and body works calls their lip glosses liplicious anymore like i got some the other day and i think they just said bath and body works on them but i really really miss when they sold liplicious they we're so much fun. Like, this is really old. It's coconut pineapple and it's from 2011. So this collection probably will not be getting much bigger just cause like I said, they don't really sell them anymore, but I'm in love with the ones that I have and they're sort of becoming vintage. We're gonna go to the middle drawer organizer. Um, up here we have some really, really fun lip balms. So these are random shaped lip balms. They all have cute little faces. Um, so I've got tons of random lip balms, but I have them organized by like characters. And then these ones are just random shapes. So they're all shaped, but these ones basically have eyes and these ones don't. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, we've got, let's see, a catacorn. I love this one. I got this from Claire's and it's a little smiley face jaggy ball. I used to get earrings that looked like this. We have a little Frosty the Snowman. Then the second drawer down, we have more random shaped lip balms. Um, and these ones don't have faces, pretty much. A strawberry sundae lip gloss. Um, oh, these are so cool. They're called flip balms. And let's see. Oh, I think it's kind of old. It's starting to get those little speckles. Like it still smells really good, but these lip balms are natural and organic. And sometimes uh, when natural organic lip balms start to expire, they get those little dots and that is due to crystallization from the shea butter. So fun fact. In this middle drawer, sorry, I can't really open it too much. This tree is gonna fall on me. Oh, there we go. Okay, I got it. So in this middle drawer, we have tons of homemade lip balms. These are like indie brands. So right here in the middle, this is actually a little blind bag that I got from Caitlin's Cosmetics. And she's actually a Star Family member. Um, so shout out to you, Caitlin. She made this Kayla blind bag, available flavors. Kayla's Birthday Cake Milkshake, Kayla's Pink Frosting, and Kayla's Swedish Fish. Um, she made this just for me though. She actually sent it through fan mail. We have some jumbo lip balms from the brand treats we have some liquor lips in here all kinds of fun stuff so we're gonna close that drawer and then we're gonna move on to number four so in here we basically have my random stick format lip balms these are pretty much like from miscellaneous brands and i put them all together in one okay so i absolutely love this lip balm it is called Gingerbread Man, and it is a Lip Freak lip balm. These actually give your lips like a buzzing effect, um, and they make them look more full. So some people may not like it because it does kind of like have like a burny, tingly sensation, but it's kind of like a lip plumper for me, and it's natural, so I love it. In here, we have some unopened lip balms. We've got tons of unopened holiday ones, as you can see. Look at the little Santa belly, it's so cute. We have Lip Smacker candy canes. And then this bottom drawer is also filled with unopened lip balms. And look, oh my gosh, a Christmas story lip balm pack. This was sent to me in fan mail as well. And now for the last section of my lip balm collection. First of all, we have this cute little pink drawer organizer. 
and on top we have this little kiss piggy bank and then a holiday lip smacker pack and then on display i have one of my favorite christmas lip sets sets from this year this is the twas the night before christmas collection so let's just go through them we have cookies for santa in the flavor milk and cookies long winter's nap in the flavor perfect peppermint miniature sleigh and the flavor is rudolph's carrot cake um, visions of sugar plums in the flavor sugar plum frosting sack of toys in the flavor goody gumdrops and then santa's cherry nose in the flavor merry cherry in the first drawer we have my chapstick brand lip balms second drawer we have chapstick total hydration and the snap change and rearrange lip balms by chapstick and then we have some soft lips in this bottom drawer we have another drawer organizer so in the first drawer we have some jumbo lip zest I think that these are so, so, so aesthetically pleasing when they're all together organized in a drawer. So um, the one that I've been using most lately is this one. It's called Mary Cherry Cheesecake. I've also been loving Old Fashioned Ribbon Candy as well as Slice of Heaven. And actually most of the jumbos you see here are currently available on my Etsy shop. My Etsy is called Purple Stars 2 so make sure you check me out and order some lip zest jumbos for yourself this holiday season. In the second drawer, we've got Pucker Pops, which are super fun. And then in the last drawer, we have Baby Lips. Then we are almost done, guys, I promise. We have these drawers are right here. Yeah. Um, in here, oh my gosh. I love these so much. So this is my Taste Beauty and Lotta Love Lip Balm collection. We have tons of unopened packs, like we've got fruit gushers, we've got these little juice boxes, and basically uh, most of these have really, really fun shapes to them, and they're super affordable, and just overall tons of fun. Very colorful, and I am in love. Then in this middle drawer, we have none other than Lip Cess Lip Balm, and this is my very own brand of lip balm. So yes, I did make and create every single one of these lip balms that you see here. If you would like to support me and my brand, the link to where you can buy my lip balms will be in the description box below. I sell on eBay and Etsy, so definitely check it out if you want to. And then in the very last drawer, of course, we have my lip smackers. So you guys, that was all for my Christmas room tour. I hope that you all enjoyed watching. And if you did, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And the question of the day is, what is your favorite part of my bedroom? I would love to hear your answers. So make sure you let me know in the comment section below. But I love you all to the moon and back. Thank you again for watching. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Mwah.